<laughs> Next up, we are bringing... <laughs> it's been a very long day. Hi, Michelle. Hi, bitch. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or sorry, sorry. I'm dying. What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gamey things. Exactly. I thought you forgot there for a second. I was like, we've literally done this hundreds of times. Well, not quite that many. We're here today to do another episode of Board Games and Brew. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. What's that from? I don't know. We just made it up. No, there's some. There's a dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's Community. There's an episode of Community where it's like, I think it's the Dungeons and Dragons one. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Any hoozles. Just wearing a nice pink sweater, and I wish it was my it's sweater. It's so friggin' comfortable. Typically what happens with Jeff's clothing is that he, when he washes them, he shrinks them and then they become I never mine. learned my lesson. No, so pretty much every hoodie that you see me wear was once Jeffrey's hoodie. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's this my one's favorite way so... to acquire clothing. I hope this one doesn't shrink because it's so comfortable. It's I like having it. a cloud. It's like a little bubble gum. You look like a little piece of bubble gum. Okay. We are here to do a video about the Boot. games that we are taking with us, that we're packing with us to go to PAX Unplugged, which we are leaving for soon. So we are in preparation mode. Are we? I feel like we're not. I've been in preparation for this for literally mentally, months. Not physically. Yeah, do mentally. We have anything packed? Doesn't matter. Anything planned? These will be packed. Right off the bat. Yeah, we have stuff planned. Okay. So we are flying via airplane, not helicopter, because we're not fancy enough. I don't think I'd want to do that. I don't think I would either. We have a six hour layover on our way there. It's kind of crazy because we are in Nova Scotia. Picture this. We're here. Picture this. I can't We're going to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is here. That's a bit too close. Well, you don't know how big my map We're, is. Yeah, I'm going to say, like, how, how zoomed out are you on the map? Well, it doesn't matter. It's my imagination. So okay. we're here. Pennsylvania is like here. It's not that close. It's very close. Okay, typically, though, if we were able to get a direct flight, it'd probably be about a two-hour flight. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, an two hour and two a half. to three hours, yeah. No, an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, do you know where Pennsylvania oh. is? I'm going to... No, we're looking up a map now because I don't think you know. Jamie, Toronto is a two-hour flight. I'm looking up a map. USA, USA, USA. Jeffrey, there is, oh Jesus, that's small. We are here, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania is there. This is Toronto, which is a two hour flight. No, it's an hour and a half or two hours, depending on the wind. Okay. And actually Toronto is like here. Okay, and Pennsylvania's further. No, but it's still okay. like a two hour flight, okay? okay? So picture this. Okay. If we were able to get a direct flight, it'd be, because Jeff, when we go to Orlando, that's four hours. That from there to there is four hours. You can't tell me that that two hours. It is. Anyways, picture this. So if we were to be able to get a direct Here's an idea. two hours no, no, straight. No, no, I, oh, I, we're going to look at it. I, yeah, it's going to, let's end this. How long flight, just Google, how long flight? No, no, I'm just going right to Air Canada. It's not going to give you a direct flight, it Jeff. Will. You can click direct. They don't exist right now. Was that Philadelphia? Yeah, born and raised. <laughs> Welcome to our lives. Why is this taking so long? I know what it is. Your computer's gonna die. Twenty-three percent. That's plenty of time. Well, it would be plenty of time if we weren't doing this. What the heck's going on here? There are no direct flights right now. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You always have to go through Toronto or Montreal. Wow, we got a deal, Jeff. Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, whoa. What's Y U L? Y'all. Is that Montreal? Must be. So it's an hour and twenty-three minutes to Montreal, and then an hour and thirty minutes to Philadelphia. Y Y Z is. Not Philadelphia. YYZ is Toronto. Okay, I'm Googling this. How long, long flight to fly Halifax. from Halifax to Philadelphia? Delphia. That doesn't make any sense. That's no, one that's stop. No, that's a stop. Uh, direct. One hour, 51 minutes. I win. It's under oh two my hours. God, by nine minutes? It's under two. It works. Anyways, let's just get back to the story. Typically, it'd be like a two-hour flight there. Let's just call it an even two. to two. three hours. Two hours. But because of COVID, every flight in Canada is being, you have to go to Toronto or Montreal first. 
and then to Philadelphia. So instead of us going like this. I think boop, it's Toronto. So now we have to do a two hour flight or an hour and a half, depending on the wind, to Toronto, wait there for six hours, then do another like, it's probably like an hour and a half flight That's down six to hour Philadelphia. six hour layover is ridiculous. A trip that would normally take us under two hours is now taking us all day, which is kind of crazy. So the point of all of that was that we need to bring some games to play at the airport. We're really probably not gonna be playing much on the plane because it's hour and a half flight, you're basically, you're up and then you're down. When you're up, I can't get down. Can't Jamie get down, deals with some motion sickness, so we have to be mindful of that when we're yeah. flying and I stuff. I pop a gravel and I'm like, bye. Usually, yeah, usually she falls asleep, I'll just play on the switch or something. Yeah. So I'll be asleep, but then at the airport, I'm gonna wanna you know, yeah, have, play a, games. have some food. And... and we're also going to Philadelphia for an entire week. We're not just going for packs. We're yeah. going from the 5th to the 13th. During that time, we are going to be playing games with some friends. Jazz from the Lobby of Hobbies and Billy and Michelle from Second Start to the Left. Go subscribe to both of those channels. Yep. So we're also bringing some games that we could potentially maybe play with them. But maybe, well, some. But these games are mainly for us for travel. And yeah. if we're at the hotel and we're just kind of chilling, we're like, well, let's pull out a game. So that is a long-winded way for us to get into this. <laughs> we're just going to show you the games that we're taking with us to pack. Do you want me and... to talk about these two first? Sure. All right. First up are the ones we're bringing to Michelle and Billy's these are specifically coming with us because we want to play them, um, with them we want to play them with them and they want to try them out before possibly buying them themselves so good way to do it and that is the expansions to Res Arcana Lux and Tanabrae and Perle Imperi uh, again like spells from Harry Potter um yep <laughs> um yep I love Res Arcana and we've introduced it to them through now BGA and it. now they love it. We play and, it with them all the time on BGA. And I'm so happy that they love it. So they don't have the expansions and instead of buying it and possibly not liking them, which I think they will, uh, we're just going to bring them with them and play with them. Yep. Bring them, bring them with, with them us and, and them. play them with them. Yeah. And it's going to be super fun yeah. because we all love Res Arcana and these just add more stuff, stuff to the game. Again, we can't play those alone. We kind of require require yeah, their, their, base their base copy game. of Res Arcana when we yeah. go down, but yeah, that's the first two. Pirelli Imperium. <laughs> you really, I really like had a difficult time processing that joke. But it was funny. I don't, yeah, I just don't know why you said it. I was like, what? <laughs> anyway. It was a funny joke. The next one that we are going to bring is Regicide. We really haven't gotten to play much of this mm -hmm. since Max and Danielle left, and I feel like this is the perfect travel game. It does not take up much space. It's literally a deck of cards. I think it'll be a really good one for us to play at the airport for sure. Anyways, I'm quite excited. It's just a card game where you're battling the jacks, kings, queens. So hard at two player. We don't know that. Or wait, sure. no, it was hard at four player. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've never played it at two players. Got it backwards. But, so that is Regicide that's coming with us. I can literally fit this in my butt pocket. Back pocket. Let's not call it a butt pocket. Next up from Awaken Realms, we have Siege Storm. Siege Storm is a two-player only <clears throat> card dueling game where you play as, let's just call it good and evil, Yeah. basically. Good, bad. And Dark you're working up towards each other on this track. <laughs> Yeah. It really works that way, it does, so it, yeah. it makes sense if you played it. It's like a conveyor belt. And you're progressing, and then when you come out of this, I can't remember what the track's called, but when your creatures come out of the track, you have some options, one which is attack the other player, another one maybe to save it for future use, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's tiny, it's super fun, and I think in a lot of cases for these games, we're going to actually remove them from the yes. boxes and possibly just put them in a little deck box. Yeah, because this is just cards. It's just cards. This is just cards. We yeah. can probably even, there's a few components in there, but. Yeah. Next up, we have Dale of Merchants 2, another card-based game. There is a little board in this and a dice, so I do think we'll probably just take this whole box. Mm -hmm. But this is a card-based game where you are building out stalls in a market. You get to choose from five different animal factions that all play slightly differently. I think it's really cute. I think it's a lot of fun and we've only played it once so I think it will be a good opportunity to number one play it more number two I think Billy and Michelle would like this so I would like to mm -hmm. play it with them as well so that is Dale of Merchants 2 which by the way if you have Dale of Merchants 1 you can make some why did them. you pick two over one I'm just curious uh, it was pink it came with a pink dice and the other one came with a red dice yeah so, Makes sense. That's how she goes sometimes. Next up from Brother Wise Games, we have Boss Monster. Boss Monster, I think I just learned recently, was the first game that got Brother Wise Games into the realm of games. 
game creation. We've traveled with this before. We've too. traveled with this a bunch. You are a boss monster and you're building out a dungeon for heroes to go through. You're getting room cards and trap cards in order to make your dungeon as difficult as possible for heroes to work their way through. Mm -hmm. Essentially, you're trying to kill, kill the hero heroes. in your dungeon and the person to score the most points wins. It's super fun. It's just a deck of cards. I love the artwork. We haven't played it a ton lately and it's one I just think this is a great time for us to bring some games that we Don't. traditionally wouldn't yeah. be playing a ton here. Boss Monsters, a primary example of yeah. that. Next one, and I'll save that for the last one that we are going to take is that Pretty Clever, which is a roll and write game that is super compact. You can actually use this as a bit of a dice tray if you want it to, like you can yeah. roll them on there, that kind of thing. So we love this roll and write. It's small, it's easy to take with you. It's fun, you could play it solo, we could play it together. Mm -hmm. So if I do get bored on the plane and Jeff is asleep and he won't play games with me, I can play this. This one won't make me, I think yeah. The opposite is what is realistically like to, to happen. You are asleep. Oh my god. I, the gravel that I take, she's strong. Mm -hmm. And it will knock me out pro most of the day. So. Alright, next up is quickly, is one that's becoming quickly one of our favorites in terms of all board games. And that is Fantasy Realms. Yeah. Fantasy Realms is just cards. cards. Another one we don't need to bring the box for. Nope. It's so good. Basically, you're just trying to build out a hand of cards that mm -hmm. scores the most points. And the cards all combo off of each other in certain ways. It's really cool. You can kind of shoot for the moon. There's a couple like combinations of cards that score insanely high, but they're, ho they're hooper. <laughs> it's one of those things if you don't hit it, you score nothing, mm -hmm. basically. But if you hit it, you, you score like it, 230 it. and it's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, Fantasy Realms, super fun game. Definitely coming with us. Oh, for sure. That's coming with us. Like, That's an or where we easy go. choice. Next up, we have Rolling Realms. This one might be a last minute decision, but I'm already making the decision that I probably do want to take it just because I like to have rolling rights. And, and this, you like the solo mode. I really do like the solo mode of this. You do not need this whole box. Really, we don't even need to bring the dice because we have mm -hmm. That's Pretty Clever. We just need the cards and the white erase markers actually yep yeah we need the white erase markers that's it that's all that we need to bring it's a roll and write game set in the different realms of stonemeyer games it is easy it is fun i like it i love it i want some more of it we will um, literally be bringing what's all that other stuff what this yeah that's the solo game we'll be bringing this that's it dang that looks cool it is cool right i didn't know it had all that yeah, it's like a golf game. That's really neat. Did you not watch our review of it? I, I do knew, love these dice. Though. I knew how it worked. I just didn't think it came with all that stuff. Last but not least, I mean, as if we'd go anywhere without this game. Shockingly. Shocker. You guys know what it is? It's obviously Silver, Silver Bullet Bezier Games. Bezier Games. What do you want us to say, people? What do you want us to say? It literally basically comes with me. It's already sleeved. Sleeved. You don't need to bring the Silver Bullet. We'll probably just use a coin. Yeah, you just use anything. It's coming. It's coming. That's it. It's. It seems like a lot, but like I said, we're going to be gone for a whole week. We are going to be condensing probably One, Boss two, Monster, three, Fantasy Realm, four, Silver Bullet, Regicide, Siege Storm. Five of these games will be in a, a deck, deck box. box. Yeah. Because we have like one of the long deck boxes. So that's it. That's everything that we're going to be bringing with us. What we are going to be bringing... You've rubbed off on me. What we're going to be bringing home is... We are going to be bringing home... A lot of games. Yeah, we've already... We've already bought games that Michelle and Billy uh, and Max have all have, picked, uh, up, for picked us. up for us. So yeah. we already have like five. We are basically taking two large empty suitcases because we know ourselves well enough to know that we have no uh, willpower. So we're just going to buy the heck out of whatever we want. This we is gotta, the first trip we've been on. We got we got a budget that we're going with of like games budget. Some I'm really good at sticking to budgets. Some too. other stuff. I want to get a nice set of dice. Set of dice. It's going to be fun. I don't know what I want. I just want... See, here's the thing, though, with the empty suitcases. I can travel with a duffel bag. I easily can travel with I a duffel bag. I have a little mini Jamie wheelie. Can't. I have a wheelie carry-on bag. That should be enough. Where did we go? When we went to St. Martin and whatever, I just took that little wheelie thing. And you died. I did? Jamie usually has this massive pink luggage it's like it's huge. massive it's the biggest and she one you can fills find. it with like hair yeah. products and but we're hair dryer smart, Jeff, because i'm buying everything there and i'm leaving it all there we Friday. might we might bring the pink bag and then another bag inside the pink bag yeah on the way there and then on the way back they'll be filled with games and if they come back full 
I mean, it is what it is. They're definitely going to come back full. There's just no way. This is our only trip this year. We've been kind of cooped up. So literally 2019 is the last trip we went on. And we, we went traveled. To St. Martin and Disney. We used to travel a fair amount before COVID hit. So we've been like just Locked itching up. to get going somewhere. Yeah. So we're going to do it. Ourselves. We're going to spoil a little bit. We're going to YOLO it. If you have yeah. any suggestions on anything in Philadelphia, that is a must do. Places to eat are key. Like, yeah. I'm just munching food yeah, when munching, I'm down there. Munch and lunch. Philly cheese cheesesteaks, the best Philly cheesesteaks. Pork rolls, whatever that is. Yeah, pork rolls. Don't know what that is. But I'll eat Sounds it. Sounds delicious. I'm going to eat it, obviously. Where's a good donut shop? Emily's probably going to laugh. Okay. I really want to try Chicago-style pizza. And I was like, I wonder if there's anywhere down there that has Chicago-style pizza. And she's like, it's it. not Chicago. And I'm like, I know it's not Chicago. But there's got to be somewhere there that has Chicago it's just not style authentic. pizza. Yeah, no, I don't care if it's authentic. I've just never had it. Where and I want to try it. Not enough cheese. It's under the sauce. It's under the sauce. <laughs> they all talk like that. Yeah. It's under the sauce. I think that's New York. Is it? Yeah. Sauce. That's Chicago. Chicago. Eight. The Bears. The Bears. If you are interested in buying board games like the ones that we just talked about today, you should first by checking out your friendly local gaming store. And for us here in Halifax, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. Sure the heck is. We are going to miss it while we're gone. And that's all that we have for you guys today. So let us know down below if you're going to PAX. We would love to know if you are interested in meeting us at all. Just look for this hat. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It. It's going to be tough. We have, uh, everyone's going to have masks on. You know, one of the reasons this why... This is what we, I look like with a mask on. One of the reasons we decided we, we would go is because they're requiring vaccination cards and masks yeah. but it will be difficult to identify people so yeah and decided to wear this beautiful blue hat yes and you will uh, recognize keep... us but we will only recognize you probably by your name and not by your face so you'll have yes. to tell us what your alias is we want to meet everyone and we don't know everyone and if you yeah. if we're like oh hey like i don't yeah. know and Bear if you with want us. to coordinate some stuff do join our discord we have a conventions channel where everybody that's going to pax has been chatting in yeah. there so hop into the discord hop into that channel and then look yeah. for the big blue come say hello hello at least oh, uh nice. if we can play games with people we'll try our best yep anyways that's all we have thank you so much for watching we hope to see you again soon and now we say goodbye goodbye later it is I'll be meowing. That's not what I meant. We'll cut that part out. Where you bring? Ugh! It's like I want to get a nice pipe. Yeah. <laughs>